The main animal of the last ice age is without a doubt the woolly mammoth. This hairy elephant appeared more than 2.5 million years ago and gave its name to the entire fauna of the Pleistocene era. His appearance and lifestyle are of interest to both science lovers and professional scientists. He is a character in a large number of books, films, and cartoons. We all know very well the current descendants of this huge beast. But the mammoth also has some rather interesting ancestors. Today we will tell you how evolution came to the appearance of such an unusual animal. The woolly mammoth lived in the territory of modern Europe, Asia, and North America. The last representatives of this species became extinct about 4,000 years ago. Contrary to popular belief, these extinct representatives of the elephant family were not very large. They were up to 3.5 meters tall and weighed about 6 tons. Females tended to be slightly smaller. Unlike modern elephants, mammoths had a shorter tail and small ears. Of the modern species, the genetically closest to them is not the large African savanna elephants, but the smaller Asian ones. The mammoth's body was ideally suited for life in the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. Its body was covered with thick reddish fur up to 90 centimeters long. Wide legs helped to wade through large snowdrifts. And powerful tusks up to 4 meters long made it possible to obtain plants even from under the deepest snow. Different subspecies of the woolly mammoth lived on different continents. The American subspecies or Colombian mammoth could grow up to 4 meters and weigh more than 10 tons. They differed slightly from each other in size and diet. There was even a separate population of dwarf mammoths living on Wrangell Island. They are considered the last representatives of this species. The common ancestor of all these subspecies was the steppe mammoth. The woolly mammoth diverged from it about 400,000 years ago. Some researchers believe that the transitional form between them was the so-called Khazar mammoth. But most often it is also classified as one of the subspecies of the steppe mammoth. The steppe species itself appeared approximately 960,000 years ago. It grew up to 5 meters and weighed up to 10 tons. Its tusks reached a length of 490 centimeters and had a rounded shape. This giant lived in the tundra steppes of Eurasia from the Caucasus to Japan. There are also finds of the remains of a steppe mammoth in the British Isles, which at that time were covered with dense forests. It is believed that this species of ancient elephant was the first to adapt to life in conditions of sub-zero temperatures. Its settlement throughout Siberia occurred approximately 250,000 years ago. It is quite difficult to talk about a detailed restoration of the appearance of the steppe mammoth. Well-preserved skeletons and skulls of these elephants rarely fall into the hands of scientists. The most complete skeleton was found in Serbia, and it belonged to a female 3.7 meters high. One of the few complete skulls examined by scientists was discovered in France in 2008. The settlement of mammoths throughout the planet began with the southern elephant or southern mammoth. It appeared in Africa about 2,600,000 years ago. And about 1.5 million years ago, it moved across a land bridge to Europe and Asia. The same type of mammoth reached North America through the future Bering Strait. In Europe and Asia, the steppe mammoth originated from it and in America, the Colombian mammoth. The southern elephant had a skull shape with a rounded top, characteristic of all mammoths. His height was no more than 4 meters. The tusks had a rounded shape and also reached 4 meters. Scientists cannot yet say reliably about the presence of hair on the body of these elephants. There is also debate about the origin of the so-called Phanagorian elephant. His remains were discovered in the village of Saratovskaya near the city of Garayaki Klyak in 1885. The age of the find dates from 1.5 to 1.9 million years. It could be either one of the species of the southern mammoth, or a representative of some other group of proboscis. An earlier member of the elephant family, considered the ancestor of both mammoths and all modern elephants, was Primelephas or Purvislin. He lived in the African savanna on the border of the Miocene and Pleistocene. The earliest finds of this primitive elephant are about 5 million years old. Its characteristic feature is the presence of additional shorter tusks on the lower jaw. In parallel with the elephants, a separate branch of the proboscis order, the stegodons, developed in Asia. Until recently, they were considered the ancestors or close relatives of modern elephants. But now it is reliably known that stegodons turned out to be a dead-end branch of development. 
Among them there were both giants and dwarf species. The largest of them had a height of up to 4 meters and a length of up to 8 meters, excluding tusks. The tusks themselves were straight and massive. They were located so close to each other that perhaps the stegodon's trunk lay not between the tusks, but on top of them. It is believed that these elephants appeared more than 11 million years ago. From Asia they settled throughout Europe and Africa. Dwarf subspecies of stegodon lived on the islands of the Pacific Ocean. During the spread of elephants throughout Asia, these islands were already separated from the mainland by water. Scientists suggest that stegodons, like modern elephants, reached the islands by swimming. It is noteworthy that two species of dwarf stegodon lived on the island of Flores. It was there in 2003 that the remains of dwarf ancient people were discovered. Moreover, the hobbits of Flores could well have lived at the same time as small elephants. It is quite difficult for scientists to reliably figure out which of the earlier proboscideans was the ancestor of the southern mammoth. Tens of millions of years ago, a variety of representatives of this order roamed our planet. And the longer they lived, the less they resembled modern elephants. But even now the closest relatives of these giants are sea-dwelling sirens and rodent-like hyraxes. Among the extinct elephants there are several quite interesting animals. Mastodons. This family of ancient proboscideans was not very large. The largest specimens known to science do not exceed 3 meters in height. They appeared in Africa about 30 million years ago. Subsequently, mastodons moved to Eurasia, and from there to America. It was the American subspecies that lasted longer than the others. They became extinct about 10,000 years ago. At this time, people already lived on the continent. Some scientists even suggest that the last mastodons became victims of Indian hunters. It is noteworthy that in earlier specimens the tusks were also located on the lower jaw, but they were much shorter than the upper ones. But the last mastodons had only one pair of tusks on the upper jaw. Gomphotherium. Similar to modern elephants, primitive proboscideans lived in Europe, Asia and the Americas from 13.6 to 3.6 million years ago. They were up to 3 meters tall and weighed no more than 5 tons. A characteristic feature of this genus of proboscideans were the lower tusks of a flattened shape. Unlike modern elephants, Gomphotherium's tusks were covered with enamel. Scientists suggest that this elephant lived in swampy areas. He most likely used the lower tusks for digging the ground. The trunk of these elephants was short, and in appearance they were somewhat reminiscent of modern tapers. Platybelodon. A very unusual proboscis animal. This species of elephant also spread across all continents except Australia and Antarctica. The first of them was discovered in the North Caucasus in the 20s of the last century. They lived approximately from 4 to 15 million years ago. The spade-shaped lower tusks of this animal, combined with the trunk, formed a very strange-looking oral apparatus. Such elephants weighed 3.5 to 4.5 tons and were less than 3 meters tall. Paleomastodon. The most similar to modern representatives of the order are ancient elephants. They lived in Africa about 40 million years ago. Paleomastodons had a pair of short oval tusks on each jaw, as well as a rather short trunk. It is believed that they were the common ancestor for representatives of the Gomphotherium and Mastodon families. Deinotherium. A side branch of the development of proboscis. They were distinguished by the presence of tusks only on the lower jaw. These unusual elephants never made it to North America. But their remains are often found in Africa, Asia and Europe. They appeared about 24 million years ago, and died out about 2 million years ago. The latest representatives of this family grew up to 4 meters. Moriteria. These small amphibians are considered the earliest proboscis animals known to science. They were no more than 1 meter tall. They had a very short trunk and looked more like modern hippopotamuses. Most scientists consider them a dead-end branch and do not consider them to be the common ancestor of all elephants and mammoths. We are grateful to those who watched this video to the end. You can learn a lot of interesting things from other materials on our channel. In our videos we talk about both various prehistoric animals and the problems of modern ecology. By subscribing to the Age of Dinosaurs channel, viewers will be the first to know about the release of the next episodes. You can also help promote the channel with your likes and comments.